welcome back to Artifact Studios and you're watching a special video series I wanted to do about mixing and mastering using free plugins instead of paid plugins. I've been doing two videos about mixing so far and two videos about mastering so far, but for both videos I was using Isotope Ozone. Now I've been getting a lot of requests of people who wanted to do the same thing but then with free plugins. So that's what I'm going to do. I've got a little clip right here and I'm going to play this to you. It sounds like this. So it definitely sounds pretty good, but um, there's a lot we can do to this. And I'm going to use free plugins to master this clip. Now normally you would master a final track. Um, however, I'm going to use this small little clip to demonstrate what I'm going to do. So let's get started. The first thing I notice when I listen to this is that the synths and the bass are really dry. Listen to it. When I play the synth group, this, you can notice it sounds pretty dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some reverb. Now I'm a really big fan of the Ableton Live uh, Max for Live Convolution Reverb Pro. However, I'm not going to use that one for this particular project. I'm going to show you how you can use a free reverb plugin that is absolutely amazing. Believe me. I've got my return track right here. And at the moment there's not a plugin on the return track. So let's add a reverb plugin to this. And I've got Ambience Reverb. Let's load that up. Ambience is a plugin by Smart Electronics and it's an absolutely amazing sounding free reverb plugin. So it comes with a whole bunch of presets that you can select down at the bottom right here. As you can see it, it's got quite some but I need to say that I really like the default preset which is called Papen Bright and Long. So when I take that one it's now added to the send track right here and I can send some of this synth track to that return track so I'm gonna do that let's uh, send quite a bit to there and let's see how this sounds so that already added a lot of reverb so I'm gonna bring this down a little bit But it definitely sounds good. It sounds better than it was before. So now I can actually tweak this reverb a little bit. I'm going to solo the reverb send track. So we hear what is actually being added. Um, let's sort of like change these settings a little bit. I can take the time down a little bit. See how that sounds. Yeah, that sounds good. I don't need that much reverb or that long of reverb anyway I can check out how it sounds with less or more diffusion I might need to check that playing the whole group itself I like a little bit more diffusion, that sounds pretty good. I'm also gonna make the pre-delay a little bit longer, let's take something of about 35 milliseconds. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, we've also got an EQ and damping section right here, which is really great. Um, the top one is your EQ, and I can use that to add or take away some bass. So the orange, sort of the orange knob, that one, is your uh, frequency knob, and the one in the middle is your gain.
So I can use this to high pass the actual um, base. I think that sounds pretty good. I can add more base afterwards if I want. I don't want that, so I'm going to bring that down. I can add a little bit of treble. Like that. Maybe that sounds good. Okay, so I think it definitely sounds better. I am going to bring this up a little. And let's bring that one up a little as well, because I don't want to take out all of the bass from the reverb. Yeah, that sounds really good. So um, that's how you use a free reverb plugin. You can pick this up on the website of Smart Electronics. Just type in on Google Smart Electronics and search on the website for Ambience. I'm also going to put a link to the plugin in the description below this video. So if you don't want to search for it, just go there and you can find it right there. Um, yeah, that's it for the first video in this particular series of videos. Um, in the next one, I'm going to be taking a look at some plugins by Antrus. Those are really great plugins as well. And I'm going to be showing you them and I'm going to be talking a little bit about them because they do have a little bit of a history and a background that you need to know. But if you understand what the plugins are and what they do, you can make pretty good use of them. So this reverb is an amazing sounding reverb. I really advise you to pick this one up. And yeah, I hope you like this video. See you back soon. Peace.